Now let me walk you through the details about how to set up latest Postgres on Windows. You should be able to follow similar steps even on Mac. In case if you run into any issues while setting up Postgres on Mac, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be there to support you. When it comes to Postgres setup, along with Postgres, we'll also get an IDE called as pgadmin. We should be able to use pgadmin to interact with Postgres without much challenges. That being said, to get started, let's open our favorite browser. Then let's search for Postgres database. Then we should be able to go to downloads. Then in this case, we are trying to download for Windows. Let me choose Windows here. Now you should be able to click on download the installer. In this case, I'll be downloading the latest version of Postgres, which is nothing but 17.2. We are supposed to download the Windows version, hence we have to click on this. If you are installing on your Mac, you have to click on this. Let me click on this to install on my Windows. Now it is being downloaded. We have to wait until it is fully downloaded. Once it is downloaded, we should be able to take care of installation without much challenges. You can see it have downloaded the .exe file. It is already done. It is just completing the download process. Once it is fully downloaded, we just have to double click on it to actually start the installation. It will take a moment and you will see the installation wizard very soon. Here you have to say yes. Now you will see the wizard very soon. Now you can see the wizard. Let me click on next here. I'll be using the default location. Let me click on next. In this case, I don't want to set up a stack builder. Let me deselect it. Uh, let me choose others. Postgres SQL Server, pgadmin4, which is nothing but IDE to interact with Postgres databases. Also, I would like to set up command line tools. Now let me click on next. Let me click on next. Here I have to set up the super user password. The super user is nothing but Postgres, you can see here. Let me specify the password here. You need to make sure you remember this password. Let me specify my standard password. Now let me click on next. I would like to use the default port number when it comes to Postgres, the default port number is nothing but 5432. Now let me click on next. I'll leave this as is. Let me click on next. Then let me click on next. Let me click on next. Now you see the installation have started. We need to wait until the installation is done. Keep in mind, this will take a bit of time. Once the installation is fully done, then we'll go to the next steps. Now the installation is done. Let me click on finish. When we install Postgres database, automatically it will be started. Let's confirm whether it is actually started or not. For that, we can go to task manager. As part of the task manager, we can go to services. Keep in mind, these are alphabetically sorted. Hence, if we say P, it will go to P directly. In P, we can actually check for Postgres. You can see Postgres here. It is up and running. In case if you wanted to manage, you should be able to right click and then you can stop or restart. Also, you can click on open services. Once you click on open services, it will take you to the services. As part of the services, if you go to Postgres SQL, you'll be seeing additional options. Let me go to P here. As part of P, let me select Postgres SQL. Then let me right click and then let me click on properties. You can see additional options here. When it comes to startup type, it is saying automatic. It means whenever this machine is restarted, automatically Postgres SQL will also be started. In case if you wanted to change it to manual, you should be able to change it to manual. That means only when you explicitly start Postgres, it will be started. Otherwise, it will be in stopped state. In case if you have so many other services running on your Windows, and if you don't want it to be overwhelmed with all the services, you can stop or manage services using the features I have shown here. That being said, I wanted to make it manual. Uh, I have changed it to manual. Now let me click on apply. Keep in mind the running Postgres SQL will not be stopped. But whenever this is rebooted, when I say this, I am talking about Windows machine. Whenever this Windows machine is rebooted, Postgres SQL will not come up automatically. I have to explicitly go and start. I can use the services to start. That being said, now let me click on OK. And let me click on close as we have confirmed whether Postgres is up and running or not. Now it is time for us to connect to Postgres database. For that, we should be able to use pgadmin. 